Hey guys, welcome to our review of The Witcher Season 3. I uh, thought about getting my, my sword and dressing up and my Jon Snow, but, you know, if the show is going to let go of this the, best season, thing, so. the best thing in the show, season, then I'm just going to let go <laughs> as well. <laughs> um, it's a little, little depressing uh, gathering here today. <laughs> and talking about, I feel like I'm at a funeral, <laughs> gathering here today and talking about Witcher Season 3, the yeah, last the season end. of the show. Unfortunately, Netflix has decided to cancel the series, and we will forever see this thing on a cliffhanger. Now, um, everybody knows uh, how much work. <laughs> just Okay, obviously that's how I'm feeling. Um, a lot so, of people are. Yeah. Uh, Henry is leaving the show. He is being replaced with uh, Liam, Liam Hemsworth, Hemsworth uh, going forward. Uh, it made the cast and crew sad. And uh, I guess all the rumors and, and the things, uh, I mean, there's no official statement. The official statement is all very happy. Uh, but this is, this is, you know, this is big. And not, it's, unpre it's not unprecedented, but uh, not very many shows do this where they literally recast the lead. You know, I think there was some behind-the-scenes stuff and rumors, and L Lauren was saying that Henry was difficult to work with and, and quite unprofessional or something like that. And, and, and you know, then it came out that Henry was like, I'm only, you know, he's just upset and a little frustrated with how the series is kind of treating uh, the source material. He wants to st stick close to the source material, do d justice to the character. And with Geralt, they kind of give him... You know, mm, mm, mm. that's about half his lines and things like that. And it's called The Witcher, and yet uh, doesn't really focus much on The Witcher. So he had some frustrations. And I guess despite uh, all the hard work and effort uh, Henry put in, uh, they couldn't make it work, and he decided to leave the show. So here is what we have that's left over the final season now i don't know if it was this season that a lot of the the shit was going on behind the scenes doesn't really come across everybody is consummate professionals you don't really see any of that yeah. on screen <clears throat> maybe it's been going on since season two, two and one but if i were to choose a side in this i would obviously choose henry's side and it's not just because he's superman or he has big muscles or he's a handsome guy or we need to hang out and play warhammer call us henry no it's not because of any of that it is truly because um, Henry was one of the better parts of this series, and this series has taken several liberties, and it seems every time it takes some liberties, they don't really pay off, or they go in, you know, directions that aren't really that satisfying. And we've learned some behind-the-scenes stuff, like some of the emotion, the, the, the Henry, um, added some additional dialogue and, and things in when Roach died that, that made it more uh, emotional. And, you know, bits and pieces like that, doing justice to the character. So um, it's just a damn shame where this thing has ended up. So we get to season three. We open up. And what is the very first thing that uh, The Witcher does or says? <laughs> it's like almost indicative of the whole thing. His first line in the series is... <clears throat> <laughs> it's yeah um and you know but that's Geralt 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 is like that and I think that uh the Geralt in the show um a little more dire I kind of miss a little bit of the the game comedy Geralt we don't really get many comedic moments but I will say uh Henry does a very good job at this sort of stern and serious uh witcher Yep. And especially in the action. So we'll talk about um, this season. Season three um, started off strong, I, I think. I, I, I enjoyed the first episode. Uh, it kind of went a, a wire from there. I don't know about you guys. We'll get to you in a second. But um, I was encouraged by the monster fights. I was encouraged by the sword play. You can clearly tell that Henry did a ton of work on swordplay. Just like Keanu Reeves did all that training with freaking guns to make it look good, the sword, the action looks good. Unfortunately, and, and when he does and he's doing that, it's like, man, there's Geralt. 
that's Geralt 100 percent. Well done, perfectly executed, Henry. But there's not much of it. There's uh, a lot, a lot, a lot of royal political intrigue. Yeah, and uh, there are so many characters that that have so small bits of scene time, screen time, but yet are pivotal to the story. It's difficult to remember all the names. We have a bit of a leg up because of the video games. Uh, but even then, I'm fucking lost at times. And I think the series has pacing issues. So we'll go in, and we'll give ratings to each individual episode, and then sort of give a final overall to this first half, because Netflix is releasing them in two halves. Um, and so we'll, we'll do that. But that is a summary of, of my thoughts on here that, uh, by the end I was a little disappointed. Um, and I can maybe see why, you know, this didn't work out. Um, who wants to go next? Uh, I agree with that statement. It sucks that what they're doing to Henry, I don't know what's going on. Like, uh, guess nice guys finish last. Yeah. The guy just wants to play Warhammer. He's like, yeah, get the fuck out of here. Go play Warhammer. Er, hey, he's getting DC, fucked over left and right. The Witcher. Hopefully Warhammer treats him well. If yeah. He's my, my opinion on Warhammer is that that license is very difficult to execute. So I want you all to realize what is being put on Henry's shoulders. And if it comes out and it's not perfectly executed... <laughs> Don't freak out because I think we can give him some leeway because that that thing is that's that's gonna be tough, man. It's guy can't catch a break, and he's walking into another potential yeah. trap. I don't know. We'll see. But other than that, though, like you said, first episode I really liked uh, the sword play choreography, the way he was just acting as Gerald was amazing. Yes. But like, as you see further on, like you said, it starts like kind of dividing into like the politics and then like a lot of Siri doing kind of dumb shit that. I guess yeah. you know, she wants to get in trouble. Yeah. It just starts kind of focusing on everyone else except That's for what I'm saying, Joe. which I was like, I guess they're doing this because he's on his way out. So we got to kind of put the other people in the forefront. Yeah, I wonder if that's what frustrated him or if that was a result of him being frustrated. I, I think seasons. it might be because like you, it's There's the a, Witcher. You don't really see love Carol so as right. much going through oh, these episodes. We so, love yeah, Geralt he, as a character, and uh -huh. the series thinks that, oh, yeah, yeah, no, the popularity of The Witcher is not Geralt. It's not The Witcher. It is these um, witches and Rad Radavaz and Subadais and Falabobis, okay, Falabobis. and Philippa and fucking. I hate Falabobis. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> Falabobis, <laughs> I fucking hate that guy, too, you know, and Stegobold. And, you know, it's just, it's a lot. It is. And like you said, like, these characters kind of, like, show up for, like, a minute and like, oh. Well, that was an important character. I was like, yeah. oh, I don't remember who the fuck that was. Like, <laughs> we, because we go to the next scene the instantly. Yes, again the, with the, the pacing. We, we have this minute-long scene, and then and then as soon as it gets interesting, we cut away. And now we're in some other. And then we do the, these two characters, and then and then we cut away. And we do these two characters, and then we cut away. And we do these two characters, and then we cut away, and we return to the first you know, character. It's like, fuck, man. If we could just live in the world with one focus maybe two maybe three but but 17 focuses that last episode just uh, kind of like yeah that ruined me. it it really it did. did like honestly i was like i they should have added another episode or something because like ending on that one i didn't <laughs> like it's yeah. like all right there was too much going on just like all the repetition the pacing did not enjoy that last one uh, I had no expectations. I wasn't going to watch this. I don't think people should have watched this. I think when they ruined the my experience with the Witcher TV show last season, they had yeah. Yennefer attempting to sacrifice Ciri, completely like destroying any like the character, the relationship, this ultimate mother daughter relationship, this whole surrogate thing. So this series was ruined for me last season. Yeah, and so nothing they could have done was going to fix what they you know like what has been fucked cannot be unfucked. They tried, they tried. but they, they, tried. They, well, they, they do tried. They, with, they wash, with, with they wash it away, and they go, "Oh no, I would never do anything to hurt you ever it's again." It's almost you can, like they, you can trust. It's me. almost like they retconned it. Yeah. They realized instantly what they did, and they go. Oh man, pure fucking hubris. We did fuck that up, yeah. oh, and then they tried to act like it never happened. Yeah, this. So I don't have any faith in the the showrunner or the writers. Uh, I think Henry does a great job. I actually don't have like the one. one th I, I agree with everything that you said except for one thing. I don't mind this story being 
there's a lot of crazy political shit going on, and 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 Geralt's just a character kind of going through doing his own thing, and he's got he's intermixed. He doesn't. I want him to be the star of the show, but he doesn't have to be front and center. Mm-hmm. But in order to do that well, you need people that are significantly more talented than the people they have, because I think that they've completely and totally failed with any of the political intrigue. Nothing has any opportunity to breathe. You'll have these really short uh, sequences where you'll have one character do something, say something, then we jump all the way across the continent and do something else, to something else, to something else, and all of a sudden we're back on Geralt. And so nothing has any time to breathe, so nothing feels important because it's not on screen long enough. And then we get an opportunity later in the season to try to culminate, and a lot of things come together with three of the 45 fucking plot lines that are all kind of going through and they do a, they completely fall on their face so i don't think that this Too season much. is going well i think that the pilot was pretty good mm-hmm. yeah and then from there we're talking about at least two points you mean episode one the, yeah, yeah that's yeah. the, the <laughs> episode one and then you know at least two points lower in every single episode and even further than that so like i don't think that this I know we're going to go on an episode, but it's like, I don't think this series is worth watching. I think that you shouldn't hate watch this. It's just, I don't think it's worth supporting. It is not good storytelling. It is not a good depiction of the character of Geralt. It is, I, I don't know who the fuck this is for. So if I weren't part, you know, if we didn't have to, if we didn't yeah. have to watch this the, oh, the last yeah. three episodes in four weeks, I wouldn't. Yeah. So oh, I know. Well, we are such big Witcher fans. We kind of have to, and we want to yeah. let others know. And you know, Alex, I, I, I agree. I very much agree, um, and I'm curious. It's going to be even less. I mean, we're talking about f- four and five is what Netflix wants to do. If I let's just say, I mean, no, I mean this is the last season. It's booked. They <laughs> it's they the they've com- they've committed to two more seasons. After okay, this. so we'll, see. Um, we'll, see. we'll so let's go now into individual episodes. So episode one um, is a pretty good opening. Uh, here's what works. So now we'll get into what works in the season, in the first half, what doesn't work. What works, Henry Cavill, uh, with Siri, some of the training, some of the bonding, some of that interaction. I do like how Siri is growing. I didn't initially think the actress fits the role and can handle it and, and can become a good fighter and, and convince me. She's earning it for me. So I, I think she's doing an all right job. Not a perfect job, but better than I expected. Um, I kind of hate how the whole, you know, Yennefer th- betrayal thing happened that is complete bullshit, didn't need to happen. And then they spend this entire episode undoing that and saying, no, now Gerald forgives He's Yennefer. Love letter. Don't worry, yeah. they're in love. And, Oh, you can't sleep in the same place we sleep in. It's okay. Maybe you make good soup. You could sleep. And you're looking good tonight. All right. I'm getting horny. Some lonely nights, man. That's that's basically how they fucking wave away the fact that Jennifer was going to have Siri murder um, or give her up. So mm, um, I'll I'll tell you what. You know, Henry's acting and and they they kind of pull it off, but it – the fact that it happened in the first place, it didn't need to happen, right? That was a stupid decision, and we could have had all this stuff like like it is now without her actually having done that in the past because it doesn't make sense like that. Um, then we get uh, Fire Mage uh, sending a monster, and the L... So this whole fucking season, man, it's like everybody's looking for for Siri. How yes. many factions do we have? Let's Four, try to count them. I think, I think there's okay. five. There's five Milfgard. Is Mil- Milfgard. Mil- Milfgard. Yeah. Milfgard. <laughs> Milfgard. Uh, the, with the king uh, Amir, who is th- her father and wants to, to put a baby in her, have an incestual uh, royal family. Uh, the so, Alabama of the continent. Yeah, and then they have um, the. Uh, I forget the red people in red. <laughs> no, so the fire mage is a part of the Nilfgaard. Um, no, the no, fi- no. fire mage is the new faction, and yeah. he has been hired by uh, fuck. What's her name? God, I can't. I can't remember nobody's name. So the fire uh, mage was was being handled by the lady with no voice. Who I think is named Lydia. Lydia, and now that's Lydia, right. Lydia is being controlled by. We didn't know until the oh, final no. episode, yeah, and now we yeah. and now we know. And now we know. So we got that faction. Yeah. And then we got the the white bearded dude. Uh, you know these master secrets of Re, um, Redenia or what is his kingdom? Mm-hmm. Fuck. 
so many. I'm terrible with the names. Uh, and then we have the elves one or two. Francesca wants And there's me. two factions of elves. One elves don't want and the other two elves do. And then, and then we have um, the wild hunt, mm-hmm. I guess, could because they're like, you know, so... There's a lot of people after oh, Siri. And don't forget. Uh, Is there six? Th- I think there's another one, right? Because uh, <laughs> Yennefer killed one of the bounty hunters. Yeah. So now they're coming up. Oh, yeah. Them. There's generic <laughs> bounty hunters everywhere. So now, there you go. <laughs> so we got those. Six. Bounty hunter factions, lower level people. See, they're coming after you, though. Yeah. And it, it's just it's just a lot. And, and at times I'm like, you know, it's like. The whole plot is driven forward by so many different factions going after, and I'm not really that invested. Not really that invested in saving Siri, honestly. I should be more invested, and I don't know, you know, I guess they just didn't set it up properly. I do, I like her, I like their relationship. I, I do feel like Geralt's doing a good job. In this season, they emphasize heavily Yennefer's new motherly love for. Uh, the person that she where, where betrayed. That, where'd that come from? I don't know, but it's ha- it's here now. Because she wanted to sleep with And they Gerald. say, don't, don't, She's like, don't. I'm sorry. <laughs> Can we make up? <laughs> yeah. And so now she, she wants to do the family thing, I guess. But whatever. We're here now. And the actresses and actors s- sort of make it work, despite the writers having fucked it up previously. <laughs> it seems like the, you know, Henry and these are, are, are constantly carrying the show, and, and uh, despite the material written for mm-hmm. them. So... Anyways, there there are dumb moments. <laughs> see, see, she is being searched by everybody in the kingdom, and they go, let's go to a party. And, oh, it just so happens to be a disguise party. So you're like, oh, okay, fine. Maybe you can go in a disguise. And she shows up. And what is her disguise, Joe? She Her disguise is, is literally <laughs> like she's like this. Or she doesn't put anything on her face like motherfucking Yennefer does. She has a little mask that she holds seven Sometimes. feet from her face, and that's her disguise. Can't work for Robin Wright. He just has a little thing. So, yeah. so his stupid. His eyes small. Uh, but I guess it doesn't matter when this world is filled with uh, roly-poly monsters that can track you via your scent and stuff. So uh, we get... We get uh, them going into the maze, and this is honestly straight out of the video game. You know, I, 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 I kind of remembered, like, some, some quests here. And, and, of course, we have a monster fight, which the show is known for, kind of. Yeah, yeah, we have, like, one in each episode. Yeah, so <coughs> Gerald, Gerald kills it. Um, and then that, and then, you know, Mage Lady puts pressure on Dandelion to bring, you know, Siri to them. Everybody wants Siri. Um, yada yada yada. The goddamn fight at the end was awesome. So <laughs> let's hurry up and get to, you know, they gotta they gotta pull you in with the first episode. So they want to give you the goods to tease that there's more like this in the episode mm, in the future season. Nope. Mm, they not us. really. They tricked us. <laughs> uh, but it was a damn really good fight. You can tell Henry yeah. trained uh, like a motherfucker who was flawlessly executed. I don't know about that CGI blood flying everywhere. It looks so fake. It does. All the CGI in this. this I did not like that. Yeah. I mean, there's some really obvious green screen stuff that they did in this season. Like, yeah. this looks low effort, low budget. And it if you're going to go with blood, and, and I'm happy that you are, because they could just sanitize it and not have any of that. But then it'll look like, you know, CW or something. Yeah, at right? that point, you but go to like find a rating. somebody who... Go go to the trauma films that Joe watches. There's <laughs> Those <are> great <laughs> practical blood effects and spray effects. Because uh, like at a certain Find point, it's going to be like rated G. It's like, yeah, there's so yeah. much blood, but it's so cartoony. It looks mm. hilarious. Yeah, <laughs> there's this film that's like a, like this. Uh, it's like it's a Korean film. There's like a Terminator on a boat. But and and like that film has such good blood effects. It's like you know there are talented what, what people in the Another industry. Another one's like Tokyo Gore Police. There's yeah, like so much blood I don't, everywhere. I don't know if I've seen that one. I've heard of it before. Is that that's an anime? And then the live action. Yeah, okay. Anyway, so the finally the um the elf lady has her brother killed by Geralt. Thank God, because that guy sucked. Yeah, and uh, and then she's losing support. The elves are kind of losing faith in her. I mean, we never really go into that again. He's just dead. Good. Yeah. And then the episode ends. So for that episode, I thought it was a good episode. I liked that one. And I was 
you know, somewhat encouraged as like, okay, so now, you know, we got we got the setup. Uh, so what what would y'all rate that particular? For one? me, I did like those three characters: Jennifer, Siri, and obviously together. Yeah, yeah together, yeah. their chemistry, whatnot. But like, That's whenever okay. Siri was doing stupid shit, I was like, "Look, <laughs> you've been with Gerald. He's been training you." Yeah. But, uh, you can't say something nice to me, Gerald. Or whatever she said. Yeah, I don't know. She's like, and "What?" Doing well. Yeah. Just based on this one, um. I'm between like a six or seven. Uh, I did really enjoy it, uh, just getting into it. But uh, I'm gonna go with the seven. Yeah. Okay, fuck it. Yeah, I uh, I liked it. I liked it. I think it was it was pretty good. The, the fights really carried everything here. Um, yeah. So a lot of the storytelling <laughs> stuff. I mean, it doesn't get super messy in the first episode, and it gets way messier later. Um, yeah. And so I, I think it was a solid enough start. I'm gonna give it a six. I think it's above average stuff, but. Um, oh, you know, fun. when I watched it and I was like, okay, this is all right. As long as we keep having these fights and some of these other things keep yeah. happening, this, this series will be okay. Yeah. Spoiler. They don't. And that's why the series is not okay. <laughs> yeah. So that, it, 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 I'm surprised I, I liked that one a lot more than you guys did, I guess. I'm going to give it an eight out of 10. <laughs> I thought it had potential and, you know, and plus I had to remove from my mind that Henry's gone. I have to review the thing on, on merit alone. And I thought that it did a good job of undoing the stupid shit that they did before. Um, I liked the rapport between them. They were together. There was a good fight. There was a little bit of, you know, machinations and, and treachery and, and pressuring. And, and so I thought it was a solid, you know, um, episode of what's to come. So we go on to episode two, <clears throat> which is called uh, Unbound. Um, and yes, yeah, so we get a fun scene uh, with information. Uh, you know, you got these information brokers, these, these you know, they got books everywhere and shit that we've seen them in previous scenes. And, you know, they're paying them off to try to figure out information and and Geralt does a little wager he's like you know throw throw this ninja star at my head and uh and he doesn't flinch I thought that was a fun fun little thing and he's like why would you why would you do that you know he's like or he's like why wouldn't you flinch and he's like why would I cuz you know you you had it sent to I had you wanting to miss um so you know stuff like that where you get these cool little moments with Geralt and they're executed perfectly by Henry he doesn't get very many moments like these but when he does he, he capitalizes so, um, but then we start to do much more introductions and in various characters in various locations. You're, you're only giving each character like two minutes to set something up. Uh, we, we've got the lady in the prison mm -hmm. and she's getting drunk and everybody else is getting drunk. And so we have to focus on her for a little bit. And then we're just, just jumping back and forth yeah. until we get to the cool monster fight. I will say that this shit was fucking awesome. So this was encouraging again. Geralt's trying to figure out there's some kind of new mage power where there's a portal and the portal's black instead of looking like all the other portals. And he goes in there, uh, follows in the fire mage, and, like trying to figure out who the fuck is this working for, but eventually gets out of there. So we got a good fight scene there. You know, Yennefer's holding, everybody's mm -hmm. beating people up and the fucking... You know, what is it? The the elves attack. So another great fight scene. Another great sword play stuff. Um, but we, uh, later in this episode, Geralt visits this, this castle, tries to do some more investigation. And this is great. I wanted to see way more of this. This is like horror. Yeah, I dumped some <coughs> fucking faces and body parts coming out of gross hive like walls and it was just it was a really cool monster it was unique it was awesome weird experimental shit what did you guys think of, of this one i did like it but again uh, the pacing mm -hmm. there's too much going on like look like, kind of tone it down keep it simple it's like all right he's got like a lead he's mm -hmm. gonna go visit some various places have some monster fights Keep it simple, but no, they it want they wanted to do the, the frangilla and the prison break yes. stuff. Yeah, it's it was like, like I don't care about that. You're like, 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 well, yeah. she's gonna be important later. It's like, right now, it's, it's not important now. It's I don't not. Give a fuck. It's you're not. you're taking away from this this cool shit. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, I think the I, I was disappointed by the the monster fight. I, I think that the the sword fighting that we got in episode one was excellent. Um, and then you just kind of understand like what's going on, like having a four hundred arm monster, and sometimes it looks really cool, and sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it looks like he you know he's defeated, and all of a sudden it drops him for no reason. So I don't. I'd like it was yeah, fine. Like these monsters. Don't really squeeze. Yeah, they, they, don't, they don't like to do anything brutal. Yeah, they don't. And even when like the the, <laughs> the consciousness are being ripped out of the the form, there's like, oh, we're gonna we're, we're gonna let Let's you keep win. going. We're gonna let you win. So it's like I wasn't it just like a all the teenagers. Yeah, it was all the teenagers. See, it's just like little baby hands, like trying. No, I, <laughs> he got <laughs> messed. He got, he got messed I up. I agree with you, Joe. That they're not fighters. They're not it's strong. Not, they're they're just not. Teenagers. They're not trained fighters <laughs> yeah. here. So we'll excuse it. At least I will, because I yeah. like it. I just. Yeah. It's just yeah. like it was a massive. Like if you're talking about cool fight scenes in episode one and episode two, that's it, gross. I, yeah. I don't think it was all but that it's true. That's what it was. That was yeah. what. That is what it was. <laughs> yeah, so. it's gross. But anyway, so Gerald finally rescues Fake Siri here. We got Fake Siri because I was like. Why they got to choose this actress that looks exactly like Siri? Because uh. they didn't understand <laughs> that they were doing a thing where she's like, I'm Siri. And it's like, oh, what? What's mm. happening here? This could be interesting. This is unique. I, I don't remember this from. Well, I, I don't remember any of this shit anyway. So anyway, <laughs> we're moving on. So um, so I liked it, but I liked it less. Yes. Um, so <laughs> let's go for final verdicts on this episode, too. I think the highlight was that gross horror shit. And um, kind of setting up. Oh, there's there's some new mage that has some unique powers, and 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 then, but then we were cutting away to a lot of various characters in various locations. Uh, honestly, I'm probably gonna go with the five on this one because I do remember that cool fight scene. I do remember a, a couple of other s- stuff, but yeah. other than that, right? You, you don't. Yeah. yeah, you forget. Is it? Forgot. It wasn't important. Forgot already. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Except for the cool monster shit. <laughs> yes. Because I, yes. I have some notes here. I have an X and an X and an X. I guess I just stopped taking notes. <laughs> <laughs> And that's uh, how it's getting. That's, that's what the shitty part is. All right, Alex, what do you Yeah, think? I'm going to also give it a five. I don't think anything, like, I, I think that there was some really cool potential. Like, honestly, them showing all the cool body horror stuff was like, yeah, let's do more of that. Mm-hmm. And then, then when they did it, I was like, oh, that wasn't as cool as I thought it was going to be. Because, like, seeing the heads on these tentacles come off the walls, like, what the fuck is happening here? And then it looks like a three mannequins taped together that are constantly, like, just <laughs> laying hands on Henry. It's like, <laughs> I thought it could have been cooler, so I was disappointed by it. Yeah. Mannequins taped together. It's a little Man, brutal. I like that. I like that a little more. Um, I'm going go with a six out of ten. Uh, slightly above average for that. Uh, y'all went five. Five. Yeah, yeah five. Make yeah. a note of that. Okay, so then we go on to episode three, which is called Reunion, mm. and this one uh, basically uh, uh, we get a little bit of Danny, a uh, dandelion. Uh, Having some kind of rapport with this uh, new prince, the new prince guy. What's the prince guy's name? Oh, uh, he's Rad- a prince guy. Radovan. Rad- 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 well, so they Rad- Rad- completely Rad- changed his character because this character is no longer like the king's heir. It's like the king's little brother. brother. And this character, if I remember right, is like fantasy Hitler. <laughs> Yeah, and so we're doing a thing where Again, they like change whatever they want, whenever they want, how they want. Yeah, and, but it's like watching it, and you're like, okay, I think I remember this stuff, and you look up, and you're like, okay, and I remember this character, and they're like, they're gonna have a love affair. And it's like, excuse me, what? Dandelion's gonna have a love affair with Fantasy Hitler? Hitler yeah, yeah, but I guess in this the universe, universe, he's like, we'll he's get not, he's down. not that. Big well, then make a new a goddamn character. Right, exactly. Um, this is what Henry was talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's like, like what's happening? He's like, dandelions doing what? And he's looking book, for his in the book. He's like, we don't need a guy. He's looking book. for his <laughs> lines. He's like, where, where the fuck, where the fuck are my lines? <laughs> <laughs> anyways, uh, no, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm over exaggerating because he yeah. does take a uh, fake Siri to an Annika, um, and this is cool. You know, I like this kind of stuff because Gerald has had adventures in the past. And this uh, one druid lady uh, knew his mother. Um, We get a little bit of backstory on what happened to his mother. Uh, It's a sad opportunity for Henry to show more acting chops. Boy, he's executing it well. Um, And there's a werewolf guy, too. That was cool, man. It's like it makes me... 
Makes me wish I would have watched that episode instead of this episode yes. where he said, I want to see a werewolf and Henry save him and shit. Yeah, and this growing bond between Henry and a werewolf. This is fucking cool. Yeah, but they, we don't see it. They completely com- like fucked up the lore where he's like, the, the lady's <laughs> like, oh, your mother was making the best decision. It's like, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Witcher kids, there's like 500 of them. They go to yeah. the school and they throw them they in a swamp. Dead. They're and, dead. And, they're and, dead. and it, they get <laughs> ripped in half. Their eyes gouge out. Their bones like separate from yeah. from flesh while they're alive screaming and so it's like oh your mom did the best she could to help you survive it's like one in a hundred kids survive and yeah. then then they get to the point where they inject them and make them drink the juice and half of those kids are more die, die. it's like yeah, yeah. your mother was a I fucking psycho make, i don't know how they so make <laughs> yeah it's like the because you watch that animated yeah, one yeah animated when, when cool. i saw that animated i was like, like there's no shit. way there's any witchers left ever <laughs> mm-hmm. there's not happening. yeah so it's like no your mother did what was best for her it's like lady you're fucking that's stupid that's what i was thinking about too yeah. it's like wait don't they just throw the kids out in the fucking it's, 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 like, it's hard to <laughs> it's hard to Detach. reconcile yeah. uh, well the, the showrunner didn't read the books or watch the other that. Netflix stuff or play the games or do any of that other shit so yeah, who cares so she's like oh she is a great mother Tough she decision. did the right thing yeah, like, mm-hmm. uh, anyway so mind control was used on this fake series so this yeah. Basically, they learn more about this experimentation, uh, m- part of how they're going to control Siri and make their make her obe- obey whoever this thing is. Um, and uh, what was I saying? Uh, so Jennifer, then, oh, uh, let me back up a little bit. Because mm-hmm. I forgot an episode at the end of episode one, they were like, it's really important that we stay together. We almost died. It's a roly poly. And you see, we shouldn't split up. And then literally a minute and 37 seconds later, they're like, let's split up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like, what? Okay, Scooby Doo. <laughs> what? <laughs> Well, so they, he, also, he also <laughs> breaks the guy, the the evil guy's hands, yes. and he, he's like he has his sword and stuff, and he could just go like stab. And as he's running out of the portal, and the next thing he's like, you I got to have... split up, so I got to kill that guy. It's like you beat him. You should. What do you, you, you should have just killed, killed him. Killed him. Already. But anyway, so then because I bring that up, <laughs> because then in episode three, Yennefer, and and so Geralt goes off, and you got Yennefer and Siri, and 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 so by episode three, Yennefer meets with um some other characters. There's so many characters. And she, uh, and so while she does this, she, she split. splits with with Siri again. Not only does she split with her, she takes her weapons and she's like, "Here, wear this fucking cloak, and Don't you'll get be in all trouble. right. <laughs> Have a good time. Don't get in trouble, and I'll give you a stone, and you can call me or some bullshit." Uh, and I'm like, God, these are these. This just shows Yennefer and Geralt are literally the most incompetent protectors. In all of the realm, like everyone is trying to get her, and like let's split up <laughs> multiple times, and then hey, you'll be fine. It's just, just, and they know that there are bounty hunters at all times chasing them, mm-hmm. and they know there are five different factions chasing them. And Siri's doing stupid shit to get caught and every Siri's time, doing and then stupid she gets shit because she's a teenager and she's like, I don't, I want to save people, I want to save that random dwarf because I touched her and she well, was not only that, being abused. The, the, Wyvern. The, is that the, se- the third one? Yeah, that's no, the that's third coming. one. I okay, think yeah, that was that's the second another one. Stupid reason. Like, another okay. St- Believe whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. Don't be like, well, this guy's wrong. I'm gonna cause all this attention on me. Is like, so I, 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 I'm like, I, I buy this in the sense that she's got to go through the arc, so they have to make her do some stupid shit. And honestly, if I had powers of Siri, I'd do whatever. I, I'd try them out. You know, I'd be like, well, what's the point of me having these powers if I can't fucking do anything? And then that's when she learns the lesson. So they do a little bit of that here. Whatever. I understand. It's just but, but create dramatic it tension. Again. It's just stupid. But then do it again. And then they do, do it again. again. And they do it and again. And then it's like after just the second. At the second time, I was like, stop all right, it. I'm fucking done. And the third time, she's like, you're mistreating this wyvern. You're mistreating this wyvern. And then she fucking stabs it in the neck. <laughs> it's like you murdered you the wyvern. You just killed the wyvern. You could have thrown the wyvern. You could have released the wyvern. You could have... Uh, you- you're right, hurting anyways. it. You're hurting it. You're, you you're, you're it. starving and hurting it. <laughs> well, it was going to attack me. It was coming right for me. Coming right for us. <laughs> All right. We have more royal politics. And um, and when when I saw this, uh, and I was like, man, this is losing steam, a little bit boring. I look over. I see Joe. Joe's, Joe's got his eyes closed. Motherfucker is sleeping. And no, but he woke up. He, he woke up. It was like a five minute. You're sleep. lucky I can't see you. I'd <laughs> right? if I have to stay awake for this, you have you to have stay, to away, stay right? away. And uh, <laughs> there, and then you know, so she she fails and at 
keeping a low profile at the Basilisk show, and they have a side thing. I was worried that they were going to have like a sidekick for Siri with this new thief. That's, Me too. That I was like, no, shit. that's already this? too many people. Because yeah. she's just like walking Why are by. we doing this? <laughs> There's too many people already. There was no point. There was no point. Because like, she never comes back. I, I guess she's going to come she back at the come end. She does come back. She's like, oh, where's my knife? It's like, hey, I took it. Here, have yeah. that back. Yeah. Where's my money? I took it, but I'm not going to give that back. Later. And then she's gone. And then she never comes back she is never what comes I'm saying. Back. Yeah, it's like, I guess she's going to be in part two, I guess. I don't I, fucking know. It's stupid. I hate it. Okay, anyways, moving on. No. There, this is pointless. Yes. Okay, so Yennefer, <laughs> um, and then... We get into Jennifer and Siri butting heads, which I like because this is the end of her motherly thing is trying to teach her. And then she's like, well, this place sucks. We're trying like, maybe this these mages will teach you. And she realizes how mean these mages are and just yeah. self-important. And this is all good. I like it because it's like Siri's seeing the contradictions and Yennefer having to go through. And, and she's explaining, got to play the and game to, and stuff. Yes. So it's very, very cool. And then we do get some, and I'm not saying all the political intrigue is bad, because I love political intrigue, and, and I think Game of Thrones does it well. I think House of the Dragon is doing it well. And this one, not so much. Ta there's a few spikes. One of the good spike moments was, um, you know, we've got our Shadow Master, white beard guy, and he's getting dicked around, and, and you know, the, the fucking king's getting a little cocky. He's got his wife. The queen, she's like doing secret meetings with Nilfgaard to set up deals, and, and this guy's like, "Fuck, fuck that! What, what the fuck?" And so he basically has the motherfucking queen killed and her head chopped off, put in a box. And when he discovers, he's like, "Oh my god, my wife! Who did this?" And he's like, "The Nilfgaard." Yeah, he's like, "I got you, dog. We won't let that. We won't let this go unanswered." And it's just genius. It's like you know, little maneuverings when. Uh, the, the 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 other prince, the the, the, the prince guy, Raditz. Raditz. Rad, <laughs> Raditz. I don't fucking know his Raditz. name. Raditz. 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 Yeah, Raditz. That's Raditz. Dragon Raditz. Ball Z. Yeah, I know. Right. I know. <laughs> uh, and then that has the crush on uh, Dandelion, um, kind of getting one over on him, and then he shows him who the real spy master is and who the real machinations is. It's like I'm I'm in control here. Okay, I'm his main man, not you. Shut up. And yeah, so I thought that was a cool little scene. Mm -hmm. Then we have a uh, lesbian mage sex. Why did I put? I took a note here. Well, no, so oh yeah, yeah. The, the, yeah. the lady is actually the assistant to the king, mm -hmm. and so the mage is having sex with the lady who is actually the person who murdered the queen. So yeah, yeah. It was like it's the, her way her. of like, hey, look, I'll I'll get you off if you cut the queen's head get off. You, and if then, you yeah. get her head off, yeah, I'll get you she off. Said she had trouble. And it's and it's cutting the head. And off. it's not just <laughs> lesbian sex. It's mage sex. You hear. <laughs> It's like what? What is happening? <laughs> that's pleasure, that's, that's pleasure, some pleasure stuff. <laughs> okay, and then, um, and then uh, well, throughout uh, this episode, when I say various characters in various places, I'm skipping ahead because this would take this video would be five hours long. So um, we have a subplot of the elves uh, getting mad. There's one soldier elf, and I like this guy. He's like, you know, he's right, and and he's like, this, she's leading us to the wrong place. And so he kind of allies with. The disgraced Nilfgaardian general who, who Ciri saved a long time ago and was kind of floating out in the wind, still being loyal to his, his faction, but not having a way in. And um, they, they're they friends. They save each other's life. They've worked together in the past. And he's like, come on, I'll, I'll take you to my king and you can be the leader of the elves and we'll do this. And it turns out that, you know, the king is such a fucking asshole. And he's like, man, this... Elves fighting, that's not going to help us. You need to prove your uh, loyalty to me, okay? And he basically told him, kill your, kill your buddy here, because fuck him. And we need to choose one. I can get at this guy right now. He's in my castle versus the, the other lady. Yeah. Uh, and so the dude kills. The dude kills the elf rebel uh, to prove his loyalty, and it does affect him emotionally. He <laughs> smashes his, the things as he's looking at himself. And this is a wild card. They're really building up this character. And I'm, 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 I don't even know this character's name, but he's going to be a wild card, I guess, you know, in something okay, to here. do with Siri because, you know, they see, uh, Jennifer saves him. He's probably at the last minute, he's going to have a change of heart. He's going to fuck Nilfgaard and, and then do something to help the good guys or whatever. But he's being an asshole this whole time and he kills off his buddy. So then. Um, and then we kind of like randomly, I guess this was, it feels like it was just made for the trailer, or, you know, for this season. Siri's just riding on a horse in the middle of a forest, 
It just cuts to it. There's yeah, like no context whatsoever. Yeah. It's a trailer shot. You don't see her leaving the, no, the, yeah. the bathhouse. You don't see her doing anything. I was confused. Anything. I yeah, was like, too. are we watching like, the cutaway else? for the next episode? But no, it was a scene in this episode where she's being... It, it, it looks like it's starting to rain, and then and then Ooh, clouds sure form, and then the wild hunt comes. And look, I am a huge fan of Witcher Three Wild Hunt. This ain't a wild hunt, man, because motherfucker, you know they're chasing her, they're they're calling out her name, they grab her shoulder, and then Geralt comes and he goes, go, go on, get out of here, <laughs> and then they leave. And he defeats him. Yeah. <laughs> I know that this isn't the climactic battle. This is the tease or whatever. But I don't know. But I thought it was a dream because the way it was kind of edited, yeah, yeah. kind of fucked I up it too. Was like a dream too. Because like uh, she's riding, and then like Gerald shows up and saves her. Then Gerald like, yeah. disappears, and he's calling her from the clouds, and the yeah. fog comes in. She goes into the fog. I like, like seeing. Ger- er- I love it when Gerald uses his powers, right? Yeah. But I think that this lo- was a disappointment. This 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 sequence basically. Get out of here! Just, <laughs> oh, <go on. laughs> and they're like, oh, whoop, 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 whoop. it's like okay. Yeah, and then they was... leave behind, I don't know, a glove. And she goes, oh my god, this was real. And I was like, oh my god, this was real. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for her to wake up or something. So yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm giving not this, good. I, Even worse than the last episode. Uh, oh yeah, I'm giving this one a four. I think that the, it, this is this is where it really, really starts to unravel, become a jumbled mess. Yeah. Way too many things that they are not tying together properly. It's like I said in the beginning, like they don't let anything breathe, so nothing feels important. So everything's just like scene, 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 and then you just don't know if it's a dream sequence or not. One of the most important introductions in what I thought, w- what I thought was going to be one of the most important and powerful introductions, we didn't know if hunt. it was fucking real or not. It was. Uh, this is a CGI you are thing you, like you are writing. failing in this, and again, serious, completely and totally unlikable. You know, she's she has her two protectors yes. risking their lives and like everything for her. And she's like, you know, I don't like the way that you made me tell me I got to go get the wine. And it's like you're being a fucking child. And I, she is she's supposed to be a teenager. And I get that she's supposed to be a kid. But we've done this thing where she's <coughs> dumb kid, dumb kid, yeah, dumb kid, season dumb kid. Three. It's like we are we are beyond like that point learning. where it's like I I'm not into it. I fucking kill Siri. I don't give a shit. So. It's right, boring. it's Everyone. hard to be invested. We have five it factions, is. and by episode four or five, I'm like, what? I just, I don't care. Just about kill her. Series. Just kill her. And that's not a good thing. It Anyways, not. that is why I was like thinking. I was like, maybe they're trying to put her in the focal point right now because it's like they're trying to sh- shift, like away from away from. He, I think right he decided now. to that's leave it. after the season, though. After the season, because uh, right now it's looking yeah, like maybe it, right now it's looking like it, there's like all right, you got to focus on Siri, and I do like whenever she tried to help that. First, uh, uh, the bounty hunter try to help yeah. the bounty hunter, yeah. and then she got a little lesson right there. It's like, well, look, it's a chain of reaction. Like you did this, you say one like person. That too. The explanation, yeah, yes. the There's explanation good was good. Bit. It's like, okay, that is good. But then we get the other thing, yeah. the little circus thing, doing more sh- dumb shit, and then like it's like, hey, I'm this new character over here. Look at me. See, we feel like we're spinning wheels. We feel yes. like uh, the pacing is, is just unnecessary. Uh, be, like, basically, they're trying to stretch it out, almost. I don't know why. Okay, I don't so know why what, what, what did you give it? Four. I'm actually being rougher on this one, mainly because of the fucking disappointing scene with the wild hunt and the lack of action in this one, the lack of... It, it's... I, I was going to go with a three out of ten, but you know what? I think... There are little bits and pieces that are good. Mm-hmm. That's what I was thinking, too. Ah, it's, it's, mm, four out of ten. We'll go four out of ten. <laughs> we all agree. Four out of ten on this one. So we're moving on to episode number four, which is called uh, uh, The Ooh, Invitation. The Invitation. So The Invitation, ah. uh, Amir uh, basically commands, oh, the guy's name is Kahir. Kahir, yeah. So uh, the disgraced general. Uh, to basically assassinate Francesca. Uh, and then when he reaches her, he basically goes again and persuades her to kind of join forces and give her stuff. You need to pick a side. Because he wants to, you know, find Ciri. So you got that whole thing, trying to get back into good graces 
And this character, like I said, is focused on as much as The Witcher. I mean, this is like basically Henry Cavill right here is on a different side. So um, then we get some mage stuff. I'm just going to skip ahead. And then they're, they're going to kill a monster. They go on. They need passage to get where they need to go. Mm -hmm. And they agree to kill a monster for them because mm -hmm. it's very expensive. And then the most annoying troop boards the ship. And they're like, la, 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 la. Ooh, shut up. Just shut up. And then Siri even says, shut up. And I'm like, yes. I said, I don't lie. They get half words. off because everybody loves their singing, I guess. Um, and I was mad that the annoying music people didn't even get killed by the monster. Again, these monsters don't know how to squeeze. They don't know how to slash. They just know how to, I don't know, push, your, push you around. Together. They push people around. Confuse I mean, he <laughs> literally picks up the one I of the thought, guys yeah. with the accordion. That guy should be dead. Then the one lady, annoying-ass lady, she gets knocked aside. She should be dead at the very least. But no, you got to keep them intact so they can do the stupid music in the next episode. Because uh, they got the contract to do the music for the ball. And Dandelion's a little pissed about it because he wanted the contract for the ball. And he was, okay. Mm -hmm. So we have another monster fight. It was good. Good. And I like the fact that Siri kind of finally <coughs> kills a monster herself. Siri's been training very hard. And, and this I buy is what it, I like. I like, like the connection. Like is like, hey, we're going to figure out together what, what it's be. Fighting together. Yeah. 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 And uh, Geralt basically, you know, uh, Yennefer. Oh, Yennefer's attacked first. She, uh, we get a Yennefer versus Geralt scene, but it's not really Geralt. It's a, uh, you know, mage doing his mage thing and pulled her aside and then they find some material and that come, that's important later. Like who's doing this? Then Geralt finally decides to go to your, your, your roots. So your, your, what, what, what? Art is a, whatever the fuck. I don't know any of the goddamn <laughs> names. Let me see. I'm just, Artuza. Your, I was going to say it, Yakuza, y Yakuza, <laughs> Yaritza. You got Raditz, you got Yakuza, we you got, got them all in here. You got Raditz, you got Yato, Radovid, and you got Artuza, and you got Kahir, you got Amir, and you got the fucking, boy, what's another complicated name? The squ squirrel tile, the, squirrel the, the squirrels. The squirrels. Yeah, the squirrels. All right, it's, it's hard to keep up because there's a lot of shit going on. So then they all come back together. So I do like episode four more than the last episode. It's like, God damn it, when they come back together, it's like, why the fuck did you even split up then? Like, I, I get it. You want to go and do the investigation. You don't want them to get hurt and stuff. And it's just, ugh, I don't know. It just made me realize how terrible they are at protecting Siri. Yes. And then um, we have a good scene. Occasionally, when the principal characters are talking to each other, it's almost like a broken clock is right twice a day, right? Because we have a good scene of them playing cards. Danny Lyon with, um, with Siri, and I liked that. And, and then he's like, wait a minute, I got to leave you. <laughs> he sees some shit going on outside. She's a fighter. She's a mage and a fighter. Doesn't, doesn't want to wake her up so that you know, we can deal with the situation. And he leaves. She could be captured. Romance. Right. And then he <laughs> sneaks away to have a romance scene with the uh, Prince Raditz, as you were saying, <laughs> uh, where he kisses the dude and the kiss. And Scully, like, you learned my song. It's like, what is I this? I only sang it once. What is, what is this? <laughs> You you waste, waste my time, waste my gas. Uh, this better be important later. I'm sure it is. With the, the the feelings for each other, maybe he can get Raditz to do something. Uh, and they are leaking confess. information yeah. to each other and stuff. Leaking so. something. Gross. They are leaking on each other, probably. <laughs> uh, and then we have Istrid shows up in this one. Triss is in this one. They give them a little bit to do. They're kind of investigating the whole, you know. The half elves are being taken. Right. What's going on? Students have been missing. Mm -hmm. This is in Hogwarts. We should do something. And so about this it. is where everybody <laughs> is Stregovor. That's the motherfuckers is doing this. They kind of think that that is the one who is doing everything. And so then they're like, all right, well, he's going to be at this party. Everybody dress up. And. And then, you know, the, the, the ending of the episode is every single group going to this party, they all say the stupid same thing. Are you sure about this? It's like, yeah, okay. And then, are you sure about this? It's like, all right, not buy two people. Are you sure about this? And I'm like, okay, rule of three now. And then, the, are you sure about this? And I'm like, we're, we're in four. four. Four is too far. Are you sure about this? And I'm like, five is outright! The holy hand grenade, you pull the pin. <laughs> 
It's as that it's like, what are we doing? And that was a little tease on how mm-hmm. it was gonna be exactly that way, only worse in the next episode. But we're not there yet. That was episode four. Got another monster. I think this one was better than the last one. We'll go, woo, woo, woo. So um I'm gonna go uh five out of ten. I agree. I'm gonna give five it out five out of ten because, like I said, I wanted the chemistry between Siri and Gerald throughout <clears throat> this whole thing. He's like, let's go Savage. investigate, and like she's doing a training, show her off a bit, mm-hmm. not being dumb. But it's a five. Yeah. I'm not looking forward to the next one. I think this one had higher highs because I do <laughs> think that some of the like showing Siri had learned some things. Yeah. But we also got a fucking musical number, um, and some other things that I just. I good, guy's a good singer. Yeah, not 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 the not the oh, trip. No, I hated no. the trip. Well, yeah, I so liked Andy Lyle. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. so we got a, mu- a good musical number from the four. episode four. We got the musical number from like the bad troop and yeah. And so I meant episode three. Then this episode four. Yeah. yeah so I I didn't I don't care very much <laughs> for this one. I think that there were some bright spots here, but ultimately, like the political intrigue is completely unraveling. I think that you know if we had gone through and mentioned all of the stupid strands that all of these different characters are going through, and there's so there has many. to be in a catch up episode or something. I need a map. I need to know what king goes where in on the map and shit. Yeah. That would have helped. So Maybe there is one, but we didn't see it. I, I think I may like this one even less. I think I'm going to give it the same score as I did the, the last one. But like this one may, like at this point, was my least favorite of, uh, of the episodes. Because this one? Of, of, until we got to the final episode. Okay. Okay. Because like, there's saying, so much stupid shit going on. Like This is where we completely go breakneck. And then there's like this weird musical number in there. And then Dandelion is in an impenetrable fortress. He literally cannot be harmed as long as he is inside. And what does the motherfucker do? He walks outside. They told you you're in it. this bubble cannot be penetrated. You're 100 percent safe. And he hears something outside, and you know what he does? He leaves the protection bubble. Yeah, I I, I said that earlier. Yeah. He's fucking stupid. Not only does he leave the protection bubble, he leaves her alone. Uh, what is he doing? He gets his fucking loot, and he's uh, he's a bard. He's gonna kill. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna keep it with a four. I, I still think that this is this, this yeah. ain't it for me. <clears throat> God. Here we go. Now we get to the juiciest episode, the best episode. And I will say, surprisingly, I was ready. Uh, you know, I was like, okay, the ball, you set it up. I'm, I'm ready. I prepared my body for political entry. So I actually liked the first 10, 15 minutes of this, you know? And you realize um, there's another hour. <laughs> and then I realized there was another hour. <laughs> <laughs> Very poorly executed. This is as if this director, uh, let's see if I, or this writer. So this is The Art of Illusion, number five, uh, directed by Claire, no, written by Claire Higgins mm-hmm. and directed by Lonnie Peristerie. Um, the talent was not there to execute this episode the way they envisioned in their head. Yeah. They thought they were doing some kind of motherfucking Quentin Tarantino, or not Quentin Tarantino, what is it? It's the the mobster movies. Guy Ritchie, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Doing something like a Quentin Guy Ritchie thing. Different where perspectives. Where you, you different perspectives, <laughs> but it fall, fails horribly. They fall on their face trying to execute this, and it just was fucking annoying by the fourth time we're going through the same scenes. It's like... I get it. Show different things, fine, but don't repeat and recycle so much each time. It, it, how could that not have been cut out in the editing floor? So you got the ballroom episode. And the reason why I say I liked it at the beginning is because Henry, the charisma is on 100% here. I fucking loved his acting. He's a great actor at this party. He's like, behave yourself. He's like eating. You get the little subtleties. Mm-hmm. He's great. And he's chewing. And then motherfuckers are coming up talking to him. It's like, this is excellent. And same thing with uh, Yennefer. Everybody's doing their, you know, subterfuge and stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Um. And and they were already they were already doing a literary device. They were already doing a thing within a thing because the whole thing was being told while they were in bed together. 
They were doing flashbacks, so they were having sex while telling the story. It's like, no, man, like just focus on your spots. business. Focus different on your spots. business. Yeah, right. <laughs> and then when I guess when they take a, a break from the pumping, then they talk to each other more, and that's when we get more. So they're already doing this literary device. But then, on top of that, we have to go back, and we repeat the whole fucking scene again from another perspective, only we don't actually go to another perspective. We are still an audience point of view seeing the different things, and they spend too much time repeating what we had just saw. Yes, there's new information tacked on, but mm-hmm. it's like, you're like, I turned to Joe, I'm like, did you, did, is your butt on the controller? <laughs> did you, we re yeah, like Halfway this through, I'm like, who? The fuck else is talking? God damn it! How, like, how many secret conversations are we having? I'm tired Joe, of these conversations. I thought I was in hell, and I thought that we were gonna get <laughs> we just everyone's it. conversation yeah. at oh, that no. party because we just no, about did. No. We just about did. So yeah, fi- we did. Finally, we start to get new stuff, right? Um, but wait, before I get there, I, I want to say I, I did enjoy the ballroom that first time. We got Harold, uh, Geralt dancing, kind of being forced into it. And then he does a fight, and you're like, well, Geralt, come on. why That that felt weird. And then you're like, okay, so this there's more to this, and then, then it hits mm-hmm. you. And I thought they were going to be able to execute it, like a Tarantino or a Guy Ritchie. They failed. Um, yeah. And, and actually, at one point, Yennefer's like, trust me, Geralt. And it's like, yeah, but at the end of uh, season two, uh, it, it, never mind. I won't. I guess I won't mention it because they're you not going to mention yeah, it. Yeah, no, no. no. Um, but they had sex. It's over. It's fine. Oh, it's, you got it. So then Squ- all's <laughs> forgiven. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they squashed that beef. You say that. What <laughs> you so what I'm saying. <laughs> they squashed the beef. It ruins an otherwise good start to the episode. It was unnecessary. Um, they were already doing that back and forth in bed, and then they do it three more times. Not not the bed. The the scene. And, uh, you know, there's good moments in it here and there. Well, yeah. Like when, when, when Geralt tells Yennefer he loves her, you know, good acting there. Believed it, you know, Henry and, and um, they're, they're just doing a good job on that. Like the actors are trying their best with the material that yeah. they're given. And, but by the time they replay this thing a third time, it was nearly unbearable. I stopped taking notes. I, my last note was they realize <laughs> it was getting annoying. They realize they realize the real villain, right? So then uh, they Stop. create the distraction. They he mm. fought the guy. You're trying to win back Yennefer, and then they fight each other. But it's really so that Yennefer can sneak away, go into Stregobor's room in a safe, and look through his shit. And then Stregobor notices because he has a clever fucking but a Harry Potter. Apparently, he went to Hogwarts and got one of the the brief uh, one of the the cabinets. It's connected universe. <laughs> it's Witcher and Harry Potter now. There's a little fucking butterfly flies on him. He goes in there. Hey, what are you doing? And then and then everybody rushes in. I guess they uh, we noticed you two were gone, and you two we we love you, and we want to stay on your butts the whole fucking thing. So we just gonna follow you around until we find you. Oh, you're in this room. So. Um, what's happening here? And then they're like, yeah, he's the motherfucker. They've been doing this, 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 and we've been on his tail. And he's like, he didn't even really fight him. He's like, yeah, I fucking hate all y'all. Well, tell them that you, you know, I guess he's like, yeah, y'all fucking hate me anyway. It doesn't matter if I say, no, I didn't do that. What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. And then one guy goes in and he like does a magic spell or something. There's some kind of spell and he gets a book. So did he really have that book, or was that no? That it thing was planted. planted, but it's, they never did that plant. They must have cut that out. They must have done it a well, third it time, or a fourth, trope. or fifth time yeah. to show him planting the book. But they were like, "Okay, we're going too much now," because they didn't show him planting the book. So, yeah, it was just and and so it wasn't him. Instead, uh, Geralt and Yennefer, as they're putting their clothes back on and, and jewelry and shit. They realize, wait a minute, this is uh, this metal is from here, from and this mines. motherfucker did this, mm-hmm. and they realize, oh shit, it's not Stregobor, it's Vilgefortz. I don't even know where to believe him or not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that's what, fuck it, I'll take it at this point. <laughs> du- du- no. Doofenshmitz. Du- yeah, sounds right. Sounds right. That, that actually <laughs> sounded right. I don't is, know. is it not? Is it not that? I don't know. No, I mean, it, he's right. <laughs> 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 it's Voldemort. Voldemort did it. Yeah. Voldemort is Dragonborn. Vilgefortz. It is Vilgefortz. It's yeah. not Dragonborn. It's Vilgefortz. 
Yeah. As this comes. Yeah, good feel, good fish. <laughs> good feel, good fish. <laughs> Oh my god. Um Yeah. So then okay. Geralt gets distracted, he hears like some I don't know, a fight or some something, and then a Geralt unforgivable. <sighs> to end on this is like the worst thing. Geralt is ambushed by the old guy with the white beard. You can hear his Dis- bones. <laughs> Dixtra. Dixtra. <laughs> you can hear him. coming Speaking around. Speaking out all crouching. I'm he like up. Geralt's a motherfucking <laughs> witcher. He would hear you. And that is stupid. <laughs> okay? Of all that I've seen here, it's fucking stupid. So, uh, and then that's when it ends. And I was like, bro, that was that was shit. And you kind of pissed me off. And then you left me on a sour note. Yes. You might as well not have even broken these into two parts. Because uh, maybe you could have recovered. <laughs> oh, but hey, you didn't see it. And then I would have been like, maybe I didn't see it. But no, I saw this. And yeah. You're lingering on this, um, so there, this is not going to be out until July 27th. Mercifully, yeah, the uh, three. there's three more episodes. <coughs> mm-hmm. The next episode is going to be directed by the uh, same same person that directed the mm-hmm. last episode. But Rit Claire is not didn't write this one. It's going to be Javier uh, Grillo Mar- Marcoc Marciac. Um, and so I'm not looking forward to that one. And then the last two are directed by the same person, Bola Ogun. Um, Bola Ogun has never directed an episode of this series. I I just who are these people and why are they being rotated in? Can we can we can we get a, a coherent direction and consistency? But. Uh, well, I guess one episode is not that inconsistent from the next. It is consistently getting worse. So I guess I'll give them that. It's consistently getting more boring, worse, and more head scratching. So, yeah. Let me get a rating for that last one. I'm giving five. this one a three. I think this this was an absolute failure in storytelling. I yes. get what they were trying to go yeah. for, but it is such a hard thing to nail down, which is why so few people do it in the movie wor- uh, world. So people, few people do it in like storytelling in general. And you just you fucking failed. Like you fell on your fucking face, and it just didn't work. I was bored and yeah. I was upset and every time we went back I thought we were going to get like juicy new things and it was just like oh man this is getting progressively more interesting and a lot of the time it's like man this is the same boring fucking shit that we already knew and every now and then we got new stuff it's just they they, they just didn't nail it and uh, I'm not excited to watch the next three I think this is the worst episode and then uh, I'm glad that uh, Gerald dies to Dijkstra. He just Mike uh, Mike Dijkstra stabs him in the neck, and then I don't have to watch this stupid shit over and over again because it's no fuck it. I don't want to watch. This shit. <laughs> uh, Joe, I agree with the three. I was honestly more pissed off. I wasted my five minute nap on the other episode. I should have gone to this oh, one. You would have been so confused because you're like you don't no. know if you're asleep or awake. <laughs> wait, you're like holy shit, wait, is, what's going on? You, you think you w- you woke up back in time, like. Yeah. yeah, the pacing yeah. I didn't like, and every time we got new information, like Alex said, it's just like, hey, uh, let's make a distraction. Okay, good plan. Next person. So, yeah. I didn't like it. I uh, didn't like... Um, yeah. There wasn't, it wasn't really entertaining. Right. There's nothing to really hold on to this episode. Like, the other episodes, it's like, oh, <coughs> they had some cool moments. This yeah. one's like, yes. The only entertainment came from the good acting from some of the actors, but then when you're forced <laughs> to watch that acting again, three times again, in a row, you're like, again. <sighs> And what, what really sucks is, like, everything is like, yes, the only thing holding it up is Gerald. So once really Liam steps in. This is going to. Maybe he'll kill it. You don't know. It it, 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 it gonna be a dumb surprise. When, when have you ever heard of like, oh, we're gonna change the lead character what? in four, season four? When have you ever heard of Leon killed it? Damn, Leon was really good in that film. <laughs> well, that too. I was gonna say, like, somebody interjected in the fourth uh, season and be like, oh, the chemistry is really great. It's like, no, yeah, the other people it. kind of built up to that. You can't just inject that. Okay. Which. Uh, I am also going to agree. This is a three out of ten. I was even considering a two out of ten. I was just uh, right there at the end. You kind of pissed me off, so I'm kind of like sticking it to you there. You don't sneak up on a witcher like that. That's fucking dumb as shit. Um, and, and and I'm not excited for the last three episodes. No. Obviously, as a show, Netflix paid a lot of money for this. They want you to be excited for the next bit, and I'm not. 
And if we weren't the Angry Joe show and if we weren't Witcher fans, if we weren't Henry fans and stuff, then we just wouldn't be watching the next seasons. It like it literally ends here. But it might be might be good material. Anyway, so this, this all this shit was based and this this particular season is based on Time of Contempt, the book in the Witcher saga. Um which I forget what n- what number novel that is, but I will let you know that uh, the next novel after uh, the next one they gotta adapt to Baptism of Fire, and then there's Tower uh, of the Swallow and Lady of the Lake. So after this, there's three more books that sort of need some adaptation. Probably take bits and pieces, um, and they've said that they'd like to commit to two seasons. I don't know. You're going to have to jam pack a lot of shit in there. And I think that increases the difficulty. Yes. And you were already failing. Just look at this. And so it, it, it is going to be an interesting train wreck the, the last two seasons, I think. Uh, but who knows? Like Alex said, maybe they can pull it off. I don't fucking know. Yeah, it could be great. You but, never uh, know. We have to figure <laughs> out what happens to, to Dandelion. You know, does he ever make it down to the ball? So there's three what? more episodes in July 27th. I um, hate you said so that. We'll, we'll do that. So uh, <laughs> let me get an overall rating of The Witcher season three first half. An F. Yeah, out uh, <laughs> of ten. I agree. Uh, it gets an F out of ten. I would say <laughs> a four because honestly, mm-hmm. cool moments happen, but not enough to spend five hours watching this. Yeah, we spent like we we yeah, yeah I, I, we could have been doing something else. Yeah, <coughs> so it's a four for me. It's not really worth your time. Like maybe just watch the highlights. Bits and pieces. Yeah. Like, that's, that's all right. Fuck man, <laughs> Alex. Uh, I, it's weird because you know it's like the the sum of the parts don't quite yeah. don't quite translate. Mm-hmm. Like, for me, I think it's lower than that. Like. I don't think that this is simply below average. I don't think this is watchable television. I don't think it's stuff that you should support as a Witcher fan. I don't Nothing think it's watchable. Henry sees is Henry sees. I don't watchable. have like I, you. You guys love Henry, and I think he's great. But like as what? the Witcher, I'm talking. Yeah, about. I know, I, I know. But like even watching him, like, yeah, he's doing a good job. But it's like yeah, I, if I'm he's not, doing a good job, isn't that watchable? The highlights are probably like five minutes. Yeah, but like how That's many it. lines does he have in the whole season? He's <laughs> exactly. got like thirty exactly. total lines, and yeah. so for five hours that yeah, we yeah. just watch, it's like I don't yeah. think this is watchable. Yeah, that right five now. minutes was watchable. <laughs> yeah, but it's like it's and five. It's it's five hours, and so it's crazy. And I, it's just it's a shame because like I don't like Siri right now. Geralt's not front and center. There's seven different, six different groups of people all vying for like random, uh, you know, Power hungry, yeah. people trying Attention to get Siri and doing in the series. And it's like, look, all you had to do is focus on some other shit and like you have some stuff, you make some mentions like, hey man, did you hear the Nilfgaard is moving like that? And you, that's how you build the world without having to show me everything that fucking Nilfgaard's doing. Did you hear that the elves are raiding the caravan? And you can have all these things happen off screen and we can focus on the smaller, more important, more exciting things. But instead, they just fucking gave us that. So I think this is a three. I don't think this is watchable and I think it gets an F. I agree. <clears throat> three out of ten. If we give an F, we'll give it an F. <laughs> <laughs> but it's three out of ten. Fantastic. And we said everything we're going to say. We probably spent way too much time on it. Yeah. Ain't nobody watching this review anyway because they know not to watch the series. Don't watch it. But if you were curious, you got an hour of it right there, guys. Thank you all so much. Let us know whether you want us to review the last three episodes, much less seasons uh, four and five. (laughs) Leave it in the comments down below. And, yeah, we'll see you guys on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, everybody.